Hi everyone, this tutorial is for people using Photoshop CS4. This is not the extended version, I'm not sure what the difference is, but it's not the extended version, this is just the regular CS4. What Today what I'm going to show you is how to make the swirl around a body. Um, this is one of my designs I've done. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do the background with the font and all that fancy stuff, but I made this and I'm just going to show you how to do the swirl around the body. Okay, so what you want to do, open up Photoshop CS4, go to File, Open, find a picture you want. I'm just going to do one of Katy Perry. Um, okay, now what you want to do is go to, you want to create a new layer. Okay. And with that layer, you want to go to your Pen Tool which is this one right here, okay. Um, I don't know why this box keeps opening. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go to your pen tool. Now you wanna make sure that these options are all clicked. Pets, pen tool, auto delete is on. And that's it for that. Um, okay. Now what you want to do, go to your brush, I'm going to do about a size 5, you could always change your size to what you like and you'll see what I mean after I do it. I'm just going to take the pen tool, start with that, click here, now you want to hold down on the mouse and drag to where you want it, and then you want to click there, you know, see the width of it, see what you like. Here, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, there's a lot of editing after this that you do. Just keep going around the body. Okay, now you want to right click on the line, it's going around the body, and you want to hit stroke path, and you want to make sure it's on brush, and make sure that this box right here, simulate pressure, is not checked. You want to hit OK. Alright, now you want to right click on that line again and hit delete path. Now, where it says layer, where your layer 1 is, you want to right click on that, hit blending options. Okay. Now a lot of people have different styles. You can mess around with this a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um I go to drop shadow and then you can see how the drop shadow added. See? I like that effect. I'm gonna keep it on black and I'm gonna keep it on 75%, but you can always mess around with that. Inner shadow. Mm, I'm going to do red, even though you can't really see it. That's good. Um, outer glow. Going to do, do I want to do red? I'm just going to try and match what she's wearing. It, it'll just look better. Red or white. I'll do red. Um, inner glow. You don't have to do an inner glow. But I will. I'll just stick with black or actually maybe white. Hmm. Opacity, you can always change the opacity, which I'm doing right now. Put on 28. Then I don't use the bevel and emboss. Um, I will do a gradient overlay. Now, the gradient you have to change. I'm gonna do get out of that really fast. I'm gonna do red and white just the way it is. Go back to blending options, gradient overlay. And then you want to click where it says gradient and you're going to look for the red and white that you have chosen. Okay. And do reverse that actually. Okay. I'm going to drop down the um, opacity to 90. The outer glow, I think I'm going to change the red to white or black. 
black. We'll do black. Okay, well, I'm done with that. All right. So now you're still in a layer one. You want to take the eraser. And I'm going to do about a size 36. You could zoom in if you want it to be perfect. So now the first line I'm going to leave. I'm just going to do every other line. And since that one's only on her head, it's really not a big deal. I just want to get what was off of her face. And you just erase what you don't want. It's pretty easy. You do every other line so this one will stay and then this one will come off. Just keep erasing. Okay. Done with that. Now my line is a little thick. That's the brush option that you want to mess with. So if you don't want it that thick, that was a number five. Um, you know, you could always put it on a number three, whatever, but I kind of like it thicker like that, but and then after you're done, after you are complete and you like the photo, you want to right click on layer one and hit merge down. So that saves everything that you did. Then, you know, you just go to file, save, save as, I'll save it as the original picture. Okay, and that's how you make a swirl around the body. I hope this tutorial helped. Um, my MySpace link is this up here I will zoom in for you right here that is my myspace link um, I do photo edits I just don't do animation um, you can add me if you have any comments or anything just add me and I'll be happy to help you with any questions that you have hope this helped a little bit um, and thank you for watching